Welcome back to 18 going on 40. We are at the Den of Iniquity, which is the Cycle Renovator's garage. Where? Oh, there's the Cycle Renovator himself. Never speaks. Uh, here we have my old Mafia. And here we have the new Alcatraz. But there are parts that I want from this bike that I want to put onto this bike. So, have a giggle at me attempting uh, bike maintenance stuff. Right, so my first action apparently is to take the brake off, which is I'm doing stuff using these. Take all of this off because the Shimano lever and what was the cable did we have last time? I don't know what it was called. This cable will then go back on. Jaguar. Oh, Jag. Jaguar. Jaguar. Jaguar, not Jaguar. Jaguar and it's a hose, not a cable. Jaguar, it's a hose, not a cable. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, I have no idea how well my current bars are. I think we cut them down. Right, that is the brake off, grips off. Back bit off here just by undoing those two bolts there. Uh, now I've got to do the same on the Mafia. And then swap the grips over as well. Already getting technical with seat posts because the gusset seat post is narrower than this one that comes with the bike. Assuming it's a narrow one. Who knows? Uh, I think we're changing the shafts over to see if they'll fit still. Seat tubes. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> so that seat shaft is super long. So we need special tools. It's not super long, it's wider than the other one. Yeah. Words. Yeah, we're getting there. Like this. Oh, so it literally will fit inside the other one. So there is quite a size difference in girthage. All right, so the next joyous task is taking the wheels off, which Dan has got these handy little mats for. So we're gonna turn the bike upside down stick the bike on the mats and then take the wheels off. Sounds simple, watch me get it wrong. Bikes are upside down with some help because uh, we had not done the seat post back up. But we're getting there. What tools do I need now? Spanners. Spanners and it's good. 15mm. Yes. Thanks. I've got my axle out. Uh, I'm also filming at the wrong angle. All out, change the wheels and tyres over. I'm, I'm glad you didn't let me take them all out, change the tyres over, then to find out that your through axle is thicker than my through axle. That's what she said. Yeah, slight, slight difference. Cycle renovator, driving the bike. Nice little massage because that's what bikes like. They like nice little little massage. Nah. We're giving it a clean to get ready for the uh, the clear dyed bro that's going on to stop any scratches to the frame. You know from when we send it large, which is supposed to be what two foot jump. Concentration face. All right, for those who haven't seen the inside of a dyed bro kit. It's really exciting. See? Don't know what you're missing out on. Joyous little squeegee thing to get all the air bubbles out. So, as not changing the wheels, uh, I'm going to attempt to refit the brake onto the Mafia whilst the Psycho Renovator carries on dyed browing and cleaning and working his magic on the Marin. Huh? The bike Renovator. Psycho Renovator. 
It's just a shortened, shortened, it's shorthand. What's that? It's a little motorbike. That might venture in a blog, who knows? We don't. Right, so I've put the back brake on. I don't think I've done it right because I don't, I think it's rubbing. So we've got the professional in to tell me what I've done wrong. What have I done wrong? All of it. Next question. I think you're a little bit high on the, uh, on the mount, so you're not actually capturing all the disc. Any tips? Don't eat yellow snow. Yep, strong tip. How do you make sure it's aligned? So what you want, when you look down the caliper, you want to make sure that the, the whole of the pad is contacting the disc. So the top of the pad in here is aligned with the top of the disc, otherwise it'll wear part of the pad, and then you'll get that rubbing sound. Uh-huh. Top tips. Brakes work then. <laughs> yeah, saddle is adjusting. What have you done to my saddle? What have you done? You put this on. That's true, I had to put it on. It's alright, isn't it? What's wrong with the saddle? It's a bit. It up. Alright, so as we know, Mafia is all back together. Keeping its white wheels. Lucky Mafia. Lucky Mafia. So, Marion has had sort of gusset seat two fitted. Pedals haven't arrived, so we're not fitting those. So uh, we're on to the second bit of the uh, dive row after Dan checks that I've cleaned it properly. Here's you know, never know. I'm a liability. It's true. I'm not going to hide from it. Yeah. Dan just showing up my incompetency levels of being able to just clean a bike. Slightly too long. Cracking on with the die bro, but we have another top tip after putting that bit on the chainy arm doodah. Uh, if you really want to stop it getting chipped from your big sends, old inner chief, which the cycle renovator is going to cut up and attach because. As we know, I don't know what I'm doing. Facts. What would you call that bit? What's the correct term? Chain arm bit. Chain, chain, stay. chain stay servicing point. It's just chain stay. Yeah. <laughs> so for all the fans out there, how, are you, how, you, how do we attach it? Do like that. Plastic band. We could use cable ties or electrical tape. What are we going for? So I'm going to try electrical tape, see how that goes, and then maybe move to cable ties after that. Nice, uh, little simple fix. Stops the, uh, that area getting bashed to hell. Nice and simple and straightforward. Right, the... Uh, Clear dyed bro is all fitted on now, so we've got the frame protection. Next, reattaching the brake. Alright, we are all done with what we can do. So the white wheels couldn't come across, so we're gonna need to buy some new wheels. And the pedals haven't arrived, but apart from that, we are good to go. So thanks to the psycho renovator. Uh, if you like what we're doing, give us a like and subscribe, much appreciated, and we'll catch you out on a trail soon. Bye!